morning everybody. Because it is such a nice morning this morning, I decided to get my bike out and go for a ride because I'm finally feeling better and well enough to actually do exercise. You guys, I don't think you understand how crap I felt not being able to do exercise all last week. But yay for finally feeling well enough to get back on the horse or the bike in this case, but you get the point. <laughs> it's a really nice sunny day. The wind's got a bit of a chill to it, but it's still pretty warm out here. I'm going to try riding somewhere new um, and I won't go for as long as I normally do because I want to ease myself back into it. Got the GoPro. So yeah, let's do this. bit windy but I made it. I'm sitting under this beautiful tree at the moment. I'm just gonna take a break. There's a playground over there though and no one's on it so that's pretty inviting. I'll probably end up over there. I wonder if this thing will work at all with only one person. <laughs> Hit the ground, alright. Look, ma, no hands. Oh, oh. oh monkey bars. Time to get some blisters. Ow! Oh, I got an electric shock. Ow! That was a fail. I really kind of feel like venturing off into the unknown over there. I really don't know where it ends up, so it could be a disaster. Or it could be amazing. Why not? fresh and clean now and now I'm going to start finishing off all of the bomboneries which will be these things I've got to print out all of the photo booth strips with people's names on them and sort them into their tables and write up the seating plan and everything so I can give it all to the place when I get there on Thursday and that way they can give it to the decorations people to use and yeah that'll be my morning slash lunchtime ish and then I'm out this afternoon. I also just wanted to kind of show you a few of the little goodies that I got yesterday that I thought were pretty cool. So when I walked in yesterday there was like all these photos of me and Ray hanging on like string along the banisters. It was so cute and they were all from my Instagram um, and they had been printed out and then given to me in this little box. How cute is this little box? I, uh, I love it. We open the little box, we then see all these little Instagram photos of me, me and Ray, because there are so, so many. <laughs> but yeah, I just thought that was a really cute little way of packaging it and also um, a cute thing to have hanging up at the place yesterday. A couple of really nice cards. And can I just say, I wasn't expecting anything because it's my hens. I really wasn't expecting gifts. Like, I didn't think that would happen but a few lovely people really did give me a gift and I was just I was blown away from my friend Amber who I've been friends with since high school she gave me a couple of really cool tea towels I really like these colors the yellow and the blue it's like a really cool color combination and she got me this cool little favorite recipes tin thing which is in the same colors so I think either this came first or those came first I'm not sure there's like these cards that you can write your favorite recipes in She's actually printed out a few of her own recipes and put them in there for me so I'll be having a good look through them because she makes delicious food. Got a few prizes because myself and my friends won the scavenger hunt. We, I wouldn't say we cheated, but probably a little bit harsh in the fact that like we just picked up anything we found. Even if it was already ticked off our list, we just picked it up anyway. Um, more so me. I was just telling the girls, just pick everything up. And they were like, are you sure? And I'm like, yes. So yeah, that's my competitive side coming up. 
But I got some cool little things um, from that and this was my prize, some beautiful smelling candles. One of Ray's cousins and auntie gave me some really nice earrings. You can see them here. I don't know if you'll be able to get close enough. That's them there. They're sparkly but still simplistic. They also gave me this really, really nice smelling candle. Oh my god, it smells so good. And you guys know how obsessed I am with candles, so I'm very excited to use this. And I'm actually wearing it now, but my sister-in-law got me a really, really pretty little necklace. I'm not sure if you can see that. Hopefully that's in focus, but it's just a little, like, clear shell on a really simple, light necklace. I love it, and I will wear this so much, because you guys know what shells mean to me, and I... Oh my god, I was so like blown away when I opened it. It was such a thoughtful gift. And lastly, when we were leaving the restaurant yesterday, um, everyone had to give, or didn't have to, but they were told to give some wedding advice to me and Ray and write it on like little heart post-its. I've used this box that mum got me for my birthday and put them all in here. All just sitting in here ready for us to read when we feel like we need some marriage advice. So yeah, that's just a nice little thing to kind of have as a memory of the night, but also as like something that we can use towards our future. So I've done one, two, three, four, five out of 78 and I want to stop. <laughs> it's really boring and it's, I haven't, I've done more than that. I've like cut all these out of the paper and I've printed them all out and I've edited them all out. And yeah, but it's, it's really tedious work because you have to make sure that it gets like perfectly in the right position and then stick it down and then um, put it all back together and put it back in the box and it's just, it's just, uh, it's going to be one of those jobs where you're like, oh my god, I was going to be done already. So it might not happen all tonight because I can't be bothered. This guy's home though, if you wanted to say hi. Hello. He's not feeling the best, so he's resting his voice. So hopefully nothing happens there because that would suck if he got sick. I've had a bit of a tickly throat as well, but I think that's more hay fever. And same with sniffly nose. I'm just defrosting some chicken because I think we're going to have some chicken risotto for dinner and then work on our part of the dance, which will be interesting. Mm. I managed to get four boxes done. These are all empty and haven't been done yet, and these are two. I got further than I was expecting to tonight because I really just wanted to give up, but I'm getting there. What is going on over here? Cleaning time. Oh, okay, yeah. fair enough. Don't burp in his face. Not very nice. Oh, he smelled that. So it's late and I'm tired and my feet hurt. <laughs> I'm like dancing. And I danced on carpet in bare feet and did spins and stuff. So like the bottom of my feet feel like all blistered and not nice. The question of the day was going to stem around this stuff, all these boxes and stuff that I'm doing at the moment of the photo frames. And that is when was the last tedious thing that you had to do. So something that was not hard but there's a lot of it and, you had, and it just took a long time to do it. You know in the comments below when was something that you had to do that was kind of like that recently. <laughs> oh, let me know if I made you yawn just then. Um, anyway. Yep. Good night. Good night. Mm. Good night. Mm.